Hey everyone, if you watched my live stream earlier today, you probably saw me with a USB flash drive because I was just about to install Simple Mining OS, otherwise known as SMOS. This is something that a lot of you guys have asked me to do. A lot of you guys use SMOS and you see it's amazing and you wanted to hear my thoughts on SMOS. I'm sorry guys, I really don't like it. I really don't like it. I tried, I'm trying to give it a chance. I realize, you know, I've not been using it long, but first impressions, oh, I really don't like it. And I, I'm, I'm actually a little bit puzzled why people like it so much. Now, I'm not trying to crap on the, on the project or insult the developers or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I'm used to Awesome Miner. I went from Awesome Miner, which has got every feature under the sun, backup templates, profiles, uh, profit switching, if there's anything you you think you can do in, in cryptocurrency mining, you can probably do it through Awesome Miner. And then what I did was I moved over to uh, HiveOS. And this is HiveOS. This is my rigs. I've got three rigs on there, 24 uh, GPUs. And I've, I've did a video about HiveOS. I did a tutorial and I, you know, I gave my first impressions. Then I, I did a follow-up video and explained, you know, my whole overall thoughts on it all. Um... I've been quite happy with Hive OS. It's very good as far as it just it just works. It really does just work. Um, and there's a lot to be saying about just having your rigs work, something which you don't get with Windows. This is Simple Mining. And it really does live up to its name. It is very, very easy to set up. You get your, your uh, you download this image here. Um, you download it, you flash the image. This They give this a suggestion here. I use a different flashing tool. Um, when you flash the image into the USB flash drive, there is a very small config file and all you do is add your email address, which I have hidden behind my webcam here. Um, but basically the, the email address that you sign up to with SMOS, you just add it to that config file. You go back to your, your BIOS and you make sure the boot priority is your USB flash drive. And there's a few other things you can see here. Make sure to enable 4G encoding, uh, integrated graphics are, is selected and all that. These are things that you probably have set up already if you've been, uh, if you have a Windows cryptocurrency mining rig. You probably got all these things enabled already, but it's good that it's there for reference. Once you do that, it installs some things and it launches. It's very easy to set up. But again, I really don't like it, guys. Now, price wise, it's very affordable $2 per rig. You really can't compare with that. $2 per rig per month. Very, very affordable and just a small percentage of your fees. Now, if you look at, you know, all of this here, it's got the about page, which is what I'm on just now. You've got change log, you've got help, you've got chat support, all these different things uh, about reseller. There's a voting feature uh, about which miners you want and there's a deposit area. Um, but really what you should be looking at is these two pages, rig list and rig groups. This is where everything is is configured. So you can see right now I've got rig 4, I've got my 5 Ti's there. Uh, it says I've got 203 uh, souls uh, as my hash rate and it's got the core memory in that here. So there's a console here and I'll load this up. This is what I'm actually seeing. I've got a PC screen here next to me. Um, uh, I'm actually, I can actually show you this because what this is doing is showing you what's on this screen. There. The terminal there. Um, there's probably a better way to do that. Um, but basically, that is being mimicked on this little minor console. There is shell in a box as well. It's a little bit better. Um, but you can see that I've got one GPU stopping and restarting now. Don't don't worry about that too much. This is because I've just not really looked at my overclock settings too much. Um, yep. So overclock settings, I've got it because I'm mining Equihash 1445, I've got the core at plus 175, the memory at min minus 502 because 1445 doesn't seem to use a lot of memory, power limit 165, target temperature 60 degrees and minimum fan speed. Uh, those settings seem to be working okay for most of my GPUs, um, but for one GPU it's not working and it's basically dead. N I've never had a problem with that in, in, in Windows, so I, uh, you know, it's just something I need to tweak with the settings. There's some other options here, Reload Miner Program, Reboot, uh, SRR, Simple Rig Resetter, and you can delete it as well. Uh, the other option is Shell in a Box, I won't show you that because it shows my IP address, 
uh, and then there's rig groups. And here you've got the actual miner. And what I've done is set up the miner and I've set it up. I've chosen EWBF, um, which is the one I'm using. And I've added, you know, my, basically my sevens there. You just add in your, your, um, the stratum, you add in your address and you just set up the settings. This is the same as you would set up with any, with awesome miner with HiveOS, even with just, you know, editing a config file with a, a, a miner. Um, if you add one here, you can see there's a lot of different options here that you can add. Lots of different options here and you just select which one you want and you can select it like that. So as far as mining support goes, it's very, very good. It's got a lot of support for different miners and it's got comments there and all these other things. Now, again, it comes down to simple mining. Out of all those things at the left-hand side there, really, you've got your, your rigs and, and rig groups. This is where you, it's essentially where you set up the wallet and the pools. And, you know, there isn't a pool system, there isn't a wallet system, it's all tied together, kind of like the way that HiveOS uh, works it. But I really don't like it, guys. I really, really don't like it. I just think it's so basic, so basic as far as the console here. There's so many things that it's not showing me, it's, you know, power. It's not showing me, you know, a graph of any kind whatsoever. It's just, you know, it's very, very basic. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's there's not really a lot to say, and this is why I was initially going to do a first impressions video about Smos. This that was my first intention here to do a first impressions video about Simple Mining OS, but there really isn't a lot to say about it. You know, what you see is what you get here. It's a very very um very very simple setup here. You set up your pool, you set up your wallet. It shows you your core and your memory settings, your overclocking settings. It shows you you know you can see the console, but Apart from that, you're kind of blind. I mean, the, there's an option here for global options where you can set, oh God, an Ethereum uh, pill and things like that. And that's good. I love that that's built in. That's really good. You can set your Bitcoin address in that there as well. Um, but there really isn't much to say. And, you know, everything everything is over this, uh, over these two pages. That's it. You know, there's really not much else for me to say. I was so baffled by this. I contacted Sia on in Discord um, so you're watching my videos, he's called Ads On when you see him commenting. He recommended HiveOS before, but he did mention Smos. And I, I contacted him, I was like, is, am I missing something here? Am I missing something? Is simple mining this basic? Is it, you know, is there, am I missing something? Surely there can't be this few options. Um, and there is. Now, a lot of people will like this. Because of that, a lot of people will like this because it doesn't have many options. I just, you know, if you're comparing it to just setting up the config file, um, you know, just setting up a config file on its own, then yes, this is an upgrade. This is allows you to set up mining, uh, you know, allows you to set up miners very easily. You add in your pool settings, you add in your wallet settings, and it's very good. So if you just want to, you know, if you were downloading, for example, EWBF miner or CC miner or claim or anything like that, and you're editing the config file and mining directly with the miner, then yes, simple mining is a step up. And if that's all you, I mean, if that's all you're looking for, you just want an easy way to install miners, and you just want to set up a pool in a wallet. Fine, simple mining is for you, and it's why, you know, it's why I think a lot of people perhaps like it. But personally, for me, I, I'm I'm really lost here. I, you know, I, I'm used to having, you know, a lot more stats, a lot more graphs a lot more details as to what the hell is going on. Um, you're not going to get that in simple mining. It is very, very simple. Um, you're not going to get all these stats here that tells me the total soil rates. It tells me that individually, uh, the hash rates, the temperatures and that of each one. It is simple mining. So, um, you know, I, I guess, you know, if all you were look, working on before was just downloading a mining file, uh, a mining application directly, and you just want to get away from Windows, and you just want a very easy way of setting up a miner and just let it mine on a pool, um, then yes, Smos is for you. But personally, I think HiveOS offers so much more. If you're looking for a Linux-based solution for managing your rigs, I do think HiveOS is so far ahead, it's not even funny. And if you're looking for features, if you're looking for backup templates, Awesome Miner isn't, you know, it really, from a cloud mining perspective, 
I think they're way behind Hive OS. But from a features perspective, awesome minor. It's going to be where I always test my pools, test new algorithms, test everything. I, I, there's so many things I love about Awesome Miner as far as, you know, if this pool goes down, mine this pool. If that pool goes down, mine this different algorithm, this different coin, and apply this template and apply these GPU settings. There's a lot more things like that in Awesome Miner as far as options and all that. But again, it comes down to what you want. Um, awesome Miner, I guess in some regards, it's overkill. You know, it's overkill with the number of options in that there. But for me, that's not a problem because I just don't go near those options. I only, you know, adjust the things that I need and just don't touch the options that I don't need. Um, simple mining. Very simple. So easy to set up, guys. And, you know, if you want me to say any pros about it, it's very cheap. $2 per rig. It's free to try for a few days. It's painfully easy to set up. Painfully easy. It's like a couple of minutes. It's very, very easy to set up. There's a good community around it. People talking about it and supporting it and giving tips and all that. Um, if you just want to select a miner and just want to apply some overclock settings, then this is for you. But if you want anything more than that, I personally feel if you want a Linux solution, you should be, you should really should be looking at Hive OS first. You know, there are some other options out there and I will explore them in the future. But, you know, at this point, I'm going to be taking this USB drive out. I'm going to be reverting back to Windows. And then I'm going to look at Hive OS. I'm looking at miner start. I'm going to look at some, some other options out there. Um, simple mining to me without being too cheesy here is a closing line but simple mining is too simple it really is too basic for me thanks for watching guys I'd love to hear your, uh, your opinion on this give me your views in the comment area below until next time guys take care